Why do these Hitchcock films stand up well? They don't look old-fashioned. Well, I don't know the answer. I think it's because they're so rigorous. Il n'y a pas les caractéristiques non plus du moment dedans, parce qu'il se situe That's entièrement true. par rapport à vous-même. Yes. My dad was a big movie buff, and it was one of the books that was in his library. From the time I was about seven years old, he knew I wanted to make movies, so he recommended it to me. And I remember picking over it, and I, I must have read it, sections of it. Like there's the Oscar Homolka sequence from Sabotage, where it sort of lays out all of the cutting pattern. It's not even a book anymore. It's like a stack of papers because it was, a, you know, I had a paperback, and it's just, a, it's, you know, you, you know, it's got a rubber band around it. In 1966, Francois Truffaut published one of the few indispensable books on movies, a series of conversations with Alfred Hitchcock about his career, title by title. It was a window into the world of cinema that I hadn't had before because it was a director simultaneously talking about his own work, but doing so in a way that was utterly unpretentious and had no pomposity. There was starting to be these kind of erudite conversations about the art form. But, you know, Truffaut was the first one where you really felt that uh, you know, they were talking about the craft of it. That was incredibly fascinating to me that these two people from very different worlds were both doing the same job, how they would talk about things. C'est pas, pas juste Truffaut a fait un livre sur Hitchcock. Le livre de Truffaut sur Hitchcock, il est une pièce essentielle de son œuvre. I think it, it conclusively changed people's opinions about Hitchcock. And so Hitchcock began to be taken much more seriously.